girth on this is phenomenal. Much larger than a regular Spanish churro. <laughs> second day in Madrid and we're starting off this morning by going to El Rastro which is a very large flea market it's either the largest flea market in Europe or the largest market in Spain I'm not sure which one I lied it's the largest market in the capital so not that big of a deal <laughs> This place is super packed. It's just a sea of people back there. Imagine two intersections and nothing but people. They've closed off the street, there's no cars. There's stands on either side of the street and just people swarming all the way through. Hornet's Nest. This market is open every Saturday and Sunday from nine to three. We got here around noon, so let's see what we can find. Leather jackets, fuzzy jackets. Canadian tuxedos. Turtle food. Toilet paper. it's not the right market for you. Be careful when you're here because it is extremely crowded and it's basically like a pickpocketer's paradise. All right, so we're done with that market and now we're headed to the Mercado de Motores, which is in an old train station, has carts still, and they sell a bunch of random stuff just like that last one. The catch with this one is it's only open on the second weekend of every month. And it should not, and it should not be packed like this other one yeah, when we're walking be. around. No, really? No, it shouldn't. It will be. It's gonna be a I'll, I'll bet, I'll bet Jen that it will not be packed like that other market. It's gonna be packed like a can of sardines. Alright, let's 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 make a bet then. If I'll, I win, I'll bet you a can of sardines. If I win this bet, you have to wear your hair like Princess Layla for the rest of the day. Leia? You don't even know Star Wars. It's not Layla. Alright, if I win this bet, then Jen has to wear her hair like Princess Leia for the rest of the day. If you win, I will style my hair like Wolverine for the rest of the day. Deal? Okay. Alright, deal. Check on it. All right, get ready for some Star Wars action. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> One weekend, two weekend. One Sunday, two Sunday, third Sunday. I messed up. Jennifer? It's the third, we're here on the third weekend of the month. So we just walked all the way here and there's no flea market. <laughs> But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's not packed in there. So that means Jen has to style her hair now. Where are you going, Jen? When it is actually the second weekend of the month, it's supposed to be a pretty cool flea market because all of the stalls and stands put all of their items and goods inside of the old train carts. So it's a different type of flea market that we will probably never experience. If you've been, let us know how it was. And if you haven't been and you happen to be here on the second Sunday of the month, stop by. Cheers, Leia. P.O. Princess Leia. Princess Leia. P.O. <laughs> are headed to a very cool underground hip art museum that not that many people know about. It's called Neo Mujar, I think. We'll write it right here. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what the museum is, um, but I do know it's a collaboration amongst 
uh, lots of different artists in the community, and I believe most of the art is made with recycled goods, but I'm not sure about that. So we're gonna have to wait till we get to the exhibit to see what we can find. I thought it was cool because it is in an old train depot, so you can see the electrical generator in there, which is massive, old, very rustic. It's free on Wednesdays starting at 11, ending at 2 p.m., but general admission is only four euro, and I would highly recommend going in and seeing it. There are different exhibitions that come. It's a rotating kind of warehouse feel. And in there we got to see some of the atelier, so some of the artist's workspace and we could see there was an artist they were practicing painting on canvas with little q-tips so they would use q-tips and do these short little strokes and then you could see all the collective q-tips uh, in glass jars and everything that they were going to discard so enjoyed it you should check it out too it's interesting what we noticed about madrid is for most of the places that we're going uh, walking there is only a few minutes slower than riding the train. So I wouldn't opt for an all-day train pass. You can save yourself a little bit of money if you're a little bit more active and walk around. So we have a few hours to kill before we go take on the lines at Museo del Prado. It is one of the free museum days today, so the line will be long. We don't know how long yet. So now we're gonna go check out really quickly the train station. Apparently have these really large plants inside. read the book Wild Things, that's what this canopy reminds me a lot of. Not only are there a ton of plants, there's also a ton of turtles. Alright, a few more tapas before we take on the line at Del Prado. But first, Jennifer, why is your hair like Princess Leia? It fell out. All right, that's more like it. Now, stop us. the interesting part. Prado is free on certain days at certain times. The catch is you probably want to get here maybe an hour or two hours before the free admission starts because we're walking up to a line that wraps around the building and we don't know where the end of it is. It is moving though. It is moving so it's a little promising. We'll show you a little bit in a second. We are literally the last people in the back of this huge line. So am I. Currently 5.23. See how long it takes for us to get inside. It's now 5.31 and we are walking in to get our free tickets. It's like an eight minute wait, not terrible. So really, it looks like the only line is to actually wait to get the ticket. Once you actually approach the museum, there doesn't seem to be a wait. Unfortunately, we can't bring the cameras in because it's such an important museum. The moment you enter, if you have a backpack, you do have to check it. So, I think our cameras are being taken away. Okay, so we went in, we looked, we came out. You could spend hours in 
Prado. I mean, this place is massive. There's different rooms. It's not that confusing though, so do make sure to grab a map. They have it in basically every single language. If you're an art enthusiast, aim to spend three to four hours inside. If you're not, at least one hour. Oh, you thought we were about to leave churros out? Nah. We're about to do so many churros, you don't even know. The churros that we got aren't the skinny ones. These are called porra churros. Very different from Portuguese. For all my people out there in Brazil that are watching this. Not the same. These are extra large churros. Typical Spanish churros are thin and they're folded together so they look like this. Most people eat them in the morning for breakfast, but it's also a great late night snack here. It's clearly what we're doing right now. This is going to be delicious. I don't think you're ready. I think I just burned my mouth. I can't taste anything. <laughs> yeah, fool. All right, we're done here. jungle in this habitat. So where are all the mad rappers at? Here you know the song's from here. I bet you she'll be checking that calendar now.